Hello guys, RivetWiz here. So today I'll be showing you how to create this chamfered beam. These chamfers are adjustable within your project. So let me just show you. Click on this beam, you go edit type, and we will change the chamfer to 50. Say OK. There it adjusts our chamfers, and obviously the heights and all of that is also adjustable. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, let's get into it. So the easiest way we're going to do this is we're going to go to structure, beam, and then we're just going to draw in the preset concrete beam. Just going to draw in a random length. So I'll click on this. And I'll go to the top here and I'll say edit family. Once we are in this edit family state, I'll be clicking on the beam and we're going to say edit sweep. And then we will see that within the sweep, there's a profile. And that's the thing, or the profile is the thing that we want to go and edit. So how you find the profile is go to families on, under your project browser. There it is. There is the beam profile. So we'll right click on this and we will say edit. So this takes us to another family. Okay, so now what we want to do is press VG on your keyboard, then we go to annotation category and you just tick this box. You'll see what happens. So now we can see all the parameters that have been set up. So we can also go to the top left and say family types. You can see the H and the B is what has been set up. Now we want to draw in chamfers that we can then adjust within the project. Okay, so. What we're going to do first is we're going to click on this line option here and then we are going to draw in let's say we want it for now 25 moles and at 45 degrees like that then i'm going to click on the same one and i'm going to go here and say mirror just make sure the copy is on and i'm just going to mirror it in the center line like that and now i'm going to just trim these corners like that okay now we've drawn it in but now we need to allocate a dimension to this and um, set up some parameters so firstly i want to just extend these reference lines that the existing ones just while you hover over this press tab on your keyboard until you are able to select the reference plane okay so now we want to add in a reference plane here on the chamfer bottom so we're going to press rp on your keyboard for reference plane and just draw in a plane like that now what we want to do is align these chamfers with this reference plane so you're going to press al on our keyboard make sure this is unlocked or just on the lock box is ticked so i'm going to click on the chamfer oh, on the reference plane I'm going to hover over this line and I'm going to press tab. And once it gives me this dot, I'm going to click it so it locks. Click away, click on the reference plane again, do the same here, press tab, and there we have it. Okay, then I also want reference planes in this um, vertical direction. Let's see if we can copy this over. Click on that reference plane, press CO on your keyboard to copy. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing, align, click on the line, press tab, we're going to lock it, click on that line, and lock it. Okay, now we're going to go and give it dimensions, so you can either press DI on your keyboard, or you can go here at the top, and, and click here and say align dimension, and we're going to just give it dimensions, like this. And then we're going to click on any one of them and we're going to go here and say create parameter. And I'm going to just call this sham first. And leave all the rest as is and you just press OK. And then I'm going to just click on that one and press uh, control on the keyboard and click on this one to select both. And then I'm just going to go and select the sham for parameter. OK, so. When we go back to the family types here on the left, you will see that the chamfer has been added as a parameter. So let's just quickly play around with this. 
just going to press escape for the moment just to zoom out so you can see how these dimensions change while we edit this so let's say we want to make the h700 we, we're just doing this now to test and see if all our set parameters that's been set up is working in sequence so press apply there you can see it has moved or, or make, made the beam 700 high and the chamfer has moved with so that is all good let's see if we do 500 for the beam width there we go so just ignore i know the text and stuff might seem out of place but nothing to worry about that's not going to affect your beam in any way so that's 700 that's 500 let's make the chamfer 100 press apply and there you can see the chamfer also adjusts so <clears throat> let's just go and change this back just so it looks or reads a bit better 300 and make that maybe 50 for the moment apply okay there we go and we're going to say okay then what i want to do is i want to file save as this family this is the sweep or the profile that we're going to save okay so once you find the folder we want to save it you can name this whatever you'd like i'll just call this um, chamfer beam profile and save it so you'll see once we load it in so we're going to go and say load into project so the reason why i saved as that you'll see now i'm going to just load this in so what would happen is in the profile section here on the left you'll see the chamfer beam profile is the one we've loaded in if we did not rename it it would have loaded in as the rectangular beam and asked to overwrite this specific beam okay so we did not want to do that so now we can go and click on this and we can see okay if we go here to the top it says m rectangular beam profile but we want to change it now to the one we've loaded in which is the chamfer beam profile so i'm going to click on that there you can see it's loaded in that chamfer beam so let's then click finish here and you can see we've created our beam but what we want to do now is go into the chamfered beam or rather double click on it right on that one so we can see our different dimensions so you'll notice when i click here on the right we need to associate the families with the specific heights and and um, widths otherwise the beam is not going to work so let's just go into the views and we maybe go to a lift elevation like that. So let's see if we edit this, if it works. See, it does not work. Okay. So we're going to have to go back there. Chamfer beam. And you're going to click on associate family parameter. So we want to associate it with the H because that is the H. Press OK. It's going to gray it out it's now going to respect the heights and widths that is set within this family do the same here do b press ok grade out now we're going to do the chamfers but we have to create a new parameter so press new parameter also call it just chamfer so you know keep everything as is and then we're going to allocate the chamfer to the chamfer say apply and okay now when we edit this it should adjust there we go 800 go and edit this to 500 there we go and then if you edit the chamfer we actually need to give it um, dimensions so let's just do that press um, or rather copy this over like we did for the sweep or the profile section like that and then we can copy this one over to there and there then we just need to align them again so there and there it's the same principle or the same method we followed earlier just to make sure it's locked okay there we go then we're going to put in a dimension here Make sure the dimension snaps 
to the um, reference plane here. That. I'm going to click here. And there's the chamfer that's been created. We created it earlier. And like that. So if I change this, this is also supposed to update. There we go. That's how you do that. Okay. Now that the beam has been set up, we can load it into our project. But before we do that, once again, just file and save as because we want to make sure it's not a concrete rectangular beam, but rather a concrete rectangular chamfered beam. So you can decide what you want to name this. I'm just going to call it chamfered, chamfer beam. Save it. Then I will load it back into my project. Just make sure you load it into the project and not into the profile that we've done earlier. Press OK. And let's quickly draw in this beam. There we go. So now you can see, I'm going to move this. The beam at the top is a normal rectangular beam, but the beam that's the lower beam here is a chamfer beam. You can see the chamfers on the beam. So if you go into the 3D view, just click 3D view. I uh, just want to make this realistic. So you can see. So you can see there's your chamfers on the top of the beam, both sides. There's obviously no chamfer. So if you click on this, go to edit type, you can click here and say 100. Say OK. There you can see it's changed the chamfer. So yeah, guys. That is how easy you can change or create your own beam profile with chamfers if you don't want to go and do unnecessary work by trying to cut voids and all of that within your project. So yeah, guys, once again, thank you for your support and all the likes. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.